A totem pole carved on Vancouver Island was delivered recently to Montreal. This important work of art will be on display downtown for the next six months. KTV was there for the official ceremony to introduce the work of art and the artist who produced it. Healing Reconciliation, as this totem pole is called, was officially introduced to a large group of media, citizens, and dignitaries, including Grand Chief Joseph Tequito Norton, Christine Zachary Diome, and Montreal Mayor Denis Coderre at the Museum of Fine Arts on May 3rd. The event was also used to ask permission to display the artwork on Mohawk territory. While visually impressive, the story of the totem pole and its creator, Gakwakiwak Nation artist Charles Joseph, is far more impressive. The work of art was created to tell the story of the artist who survived residential school and its resulting effects, and can be viewed as a part of his healing journey. He hopes it can inspire others to forgive and move forward, and, more important, to understand. KTV was there for the emotional and uplifting event. Uh, we welcome our brothers from the West Coast who come to us, who bring with them our symbol of peace, strength, and unity. Uh, for thousands of years, we have been brothers and we have traveled back and forth across this great land to talk to each other and to provide each other with the kind of understanding that we needed. And when the Europeans arrived, uh, that, that, that did not prevent us from continuing that. And that still continues on to this day. You know, of course. I feel privileged humble and honored to be here and I'll tell you why this totem is the link between people between nation in a former life I was one of the first ministers who started the negotiation in the healing process regarding residential schools I've been myself through a healing circle in Calgary, where my brother Phil Fontaine also was a victim of the residential school. Mr. Joseph, to come here today is a, a very important moment for mankind. This is not a very nice moment for the history of Canada. But in Montreal, we believe, like in Canada, in the living together. We are putting up together right now what we call the Metropolis of Reconciliation. To reconciliate, we need to recognize. When we recognize, we don't revisit, but we acknowledge what happened. And this is the beginning of the healing process. We've gone through so many years of all kinds of hurt, all kinds of different things, all kinds of confusion. You know, uh, maybe it's time, you know, that people do things, you know, and uh, to talk about how we can uh, continue a discussion. It can't always be about conflict. It has to be about using good minds and talking to each other and educating ignorance. And I think that's what this does. You know, reconciliation is about educating ignorance. And we got it on all sides, right? We got it on both sides of the bridge. And so I think this is a good thing. Well, when I, when I met him inside, you know, the man that brought us this uh, totem pole, and I told him I was a survivor, and he says, me too. He says, I'm going to do the ceremony today for you and for me. And I really felt it. I was uh, so, so emotionally uh, involved and I, I couldn't believe that this man had built this, had made this totem pole and from it he talked about the stories that every, every carving, every, every, uh, that he did was about his life at residential school and I felt like he was talking about me. The honor to speak with her uh, because we're both from residential survivors. And then I, I told her that I'm going to honor her and, and the rest of the people from her tribe that was in residential school. I'm thinking about her when I'm dancing, and this dance will be for you, for her and the other survivors of her reserve, of her tribe. So I, I uh, told her that 
when you see me dancing, I'm thinking about you and your tribe and that's been in residential school also and adopted children. This represents us, represents reconciliation, and I'm just glad and honored to have her here with me today. This is probably the most biggest experience in my life so far as my culture goes, this reconciliation. This is a big part. This is, uh, I've never traveled as far as Montreal. Uh, I'm from Vancouver Island on uh, in BC and this is this is powerful and I'm glad to be a part of it. Um, I'm very uh, touched by Charles uh, asking us to be out here with him, uh, our family member and I, I feel honored to be here. First of all I was very touched first that not only are people in this city acknowledging our connection to this particular land, Jokjage to Odzilagehne, Hashalaga, but the importance of this totem pole, the importance to me in that art can promote healing. And certainly that's what Mr. Joseph has done by the kind of work he's put in, how he used his own tradition, his own spirit to transform into that great totem. I wanted also to say that in 1972 I used to work for the National Museum of Man in Ottawa and that day that I was there they opened the seized boxes from the potlatch in Vancouver. These potlatch items included a transformation mask and as they opened the case it started raining snow and that to me when that happened in the dances today, I was so touched by that.